Hello, sixth grade science class. This is Miss Mann. I'm gonna review today's lab, which is measuring volume and mass. All right, so if you are, if you have a printer, go ahead and print this worksheet out. If you do not, just go ahead, grab a separate sheet of paper and collect it and copy the data table that I am currently pointing out to you. All right, we're gonna measure a marble, a wooden block, a small wooden block, a large wooden block, a metal cylinder, and a granite rock. We are starting with a metal cylinder. We are starting with the metal cylinder. So fill this in as we go. Okay, now, if you need to know how to mass an object using a triple beam balance, you are going to go to page 73. Read it, you should have already read it. Then you're gonna to go to volume. If you need to know how to calculate volume of an irregular shaped object. For us, a cylinder is an irregular shaped object. You're gonna to go to page 75, all right? Now, mass. Let's go ahead and start with mass. Mass we measure in grams. So we're gonna go over here. Now, the name of the game is to get the mass of the metal cylinder. You see how this line fits, lines up with the zero? That means that we are zeroed out. That means we are ready to take our mass. All right, so first you get your object, put it on the plate. All right, so now we start with the biggest, that is the hundreds. That's too heavy. Once this line drops below the zero line, you know it's too heavy, so we're gonna go back. All right, so we know it's not at least 100 grams. What about 10 grams? All right, still got it. 20. 20 grams proves to be too heavy, so we're going to go back to that 10 mark. Now, we are going to move the ones next. I go first, I go into the middle by to five. That's almost there. It's almost there. Needs a little bit lighter. So let's go to 4.5. There we go. A little bit light. Split the difference. Close enough. All right, so if you look at our tens, we have 10 grams at least. And then we have zero one hundreds. And we have, I'll say that's going to be, let's say 4.7. So for our hundreds, so for our hundreds slider, we got zero. There's no hundreds. For our tens, we got 10. 10 grams. Also put grams right here. And now we have our ones. And that equals, and I said that equaled 4.7. So 4.7 grams. All right, now all you have to do is add all these together. Right? So zero plus 10 is 10. 10 plus 4.7, that's going to be 14.7 grams. All right. That is our mass, so 14.7 grams. Now, let's talk about volume. For us, there's two ways to calculate volume, length times width times height. Um, you only use the length times width if you are dealing with some sort of cube. However, this is a cylinder, so for us, you have a section that says, is it an irregular shape, an irregular shaped object? Yes or no? Put yes for the cylinder. If you have to use the leader method, it is an irregular shaped object. So the method that I'm gonna use for this object is going to be the graduated cylinder method. All right, so here's where we calculate our volume. got your object right here. You look at the initial water line. So for this lab, we are always going to start out at 50. I have taken great care to make sure that you know that we start out at 50. 
We are going to plop this in. So our initial value is 50. We're gonna plop that in. All right. Our next initial value is going to be 55. So for the volume, our initial volume, our final volume was 55 minus 50, because this is our final volume, this is our initial volume. You take final minus initial, and then you subtract it, and I got five milliliters, right? Five, and then equals volume of the object. All right, does that make sense? So I put V sub F for final volume of water, V sub I for initial volume of water, VI for initial, VF for final, you take VF minus VI, and that equals the volume of the object, all right? So that is how you're gonna fill in this table. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to have you I'm gonna show you the values that were measured for each the volume in them, and we're gonna show you the triple beam balance. And by doing that, you are going to have to calculate and fill in the table. I'm not gonna spell it out for you. So I showed you how I did it here. I already have all the values measured. You're just gonna to have to figure out how to read it, okay? So, now, if you come over here, can always see that my initial volume is a volume of 50. That is what we are, 50, all right? So now because these graduated cylinders, the ticks right here are really clear, um, I wrote down the volume right here, the new volume, the final volume. So the final volume of a granite rock is 52 milliliters, all right? Same thing for here. I filled it up with water, I put the marble in. So for the final volume of the water is 51 milliliters. Now, remember, part of measuring volume is gonna be length times width times height. That equals the volume of an object. So I have measured this out for you. Height is 2.1 centimeters, length is 4.9 centimeters, and width is 4.9 centimeters. Figure out the volume, all right? Same thing goes for this small cube. Length times width times height. Height is 1.8 centimeters. Width is 3.6. Length is 3.6. You're going to figure out the volume. All right. Now, if you look over here, we have our triple beam balances. You are going to measure out the mass of a small block, which I already did for you. Here's our 10 value. And look where the arrow was pointing. Here is our 100 value. Here is our one value, right? Give you a little bit to look at that. All right, that's the small block. This is the big block. The big block starts out with, here's our 10 value. Here's our hundreds value. And then here is our ones value. Zoom in a little. All right, beautiful. Now here's our granite rock. Here's our tens value. Here's our hundreds value. And then here is our ones value. All right. For the marble, here's our tens value. Here's our hundreds value. And here's our ones value. Beautiful. All right, so once you are finished with that, you are going to go to the back end of your paper and you are gonna see that there are two tables. Now, for the tables, I'll tell you how to set them up, but it's gonna be up to you to graph it, all right? So, we have an x-axis and we have a y-axis. Y, x, right? You can even label it if you want. So, for the volume graph, you are gonna put objects. So for the objects, we have marble, then we have granite, we have small block, we have large block, 
marble, granite, large block, and then we have that metal cylinder. Okay, this is what's gonna be on the x-axis. All right, you're just gonna put the name of the objects. Now, for mass, just start out with the mat, um, you're gonna put the mass on the y axis. You're gonna start with the highest value and make sure your increments are level. So for instance, say my highest mass is 10 grams, right? Always put units. Highest mass is 10 grams, right? And we got five grams in the middle. Between that, we'll go up by twos actually. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I know it's not even, but. All right, so we've got two grams, four grams, uh, six grams, eight grams, then up here, that is where it's gonna be 10 grams. All right, so we have mass, right? So say if my marble was two grams, I would just make a bar graph stating that, that it was two grams. And I might even throw a little 2G on top, just so you know the exact values. So we have our mass. This is how you're gonna set up your mass. And remember to title it mass of objects. This is what you're gonna title your table, all right? This is what you're gonna title your graph. Now, this is what the mass graph is gonna look like. So if we can get a closer look at this, we have our x-axis, our objects, our y-axis is mass, and then we got the title, right? And I just plotted out the marble for you, okay? I just plotted that out. Now, I don't know if it's actually two grams. I have it written down somewhere, but this was just an estimation. Now, let's go ahead and do volume. So we're gonna erase the top one, erase the bottom one. All right. So for volume, here's where things are going to get a little different. You have volume. We have uh, volume could be expressed in centimeter cubed or milliliters. All right. One centimeter cubed is equivalent to one milliliter, meaning that they both we'll take up the same amount of space, right? It's just different units. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So that's the volume. So for instance, say for the small block, it had a volume of two centimeters squared. I would put that, make sure it looks neat. So that'd be two centimeters cubed. If I said squared earlier, ignore that. It's cubed, right? For the metal cylinder, which we did measure, right? For the metal cylinder, I believe it was five milliliters. So bring it right here. Five milliliters. So you're just going to put five milliliters. Right? So one you're going to put centimeter cubed, one you're going to put five milliliters. They essentially mean the same thing. One centimeter cubed is equivalent to one milliliter. All right? And then you're going to title your graph volume of objects. All right. So... This is the basics of this lab. Um, I'm gonna leave the rest to you. You're gonna have to measure, uh, read the measurements of each and every object and then the volumes of each and every object. Feel free to watch this video as many times as you need to get the information. Then once you are done with your two graphs that you're gonna put into these two boxes, or if you do not have a printer at home, then you can put on a separate sheet of paper. Um, you're going to answer these three questions, right? You are going to say, what object has the most mass? Which object had the least mass? How do you know? Uh, two, how do you measure the volume of a regular shaped object? Remember, in regular shape, we do length times width times height. Then we have an irregular object. We do the volume of the final 
measurement of water level in the graduated cylinder minus the volume of the initial. All right, so that's this week's lab. Thank you for attending. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, I will be here on Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30. Thank you.